today I have another ROM review for you. This is for the GTN 7000. This is Stunner 2, based on 4.2.2, the latest Jelly Bean. Right, like I said, this is based on the latest and greatest Android 4.2.2. Um, I have actually changed the launcher, I'll go into that a little bit later on. So let's just go into about the phone and check it out. There you go, 4.2.2, latest Jelly Bean available for your Note. This is a CM10 based ROM and it's based on XXLSC. Uh, they will probably put out a XXLSZ based ROM, so stay tuned for that. And as you can see, like the normal stunner settings, the ROM controls, the theme, performance options, that's all there. This is, the only difference is it's 4.2.2 as opposed to the latest stunner was 4.2.1. So it's just going through the app tray, app drawer rather. Okay, so this is really silk smooth. This doesn't have any Samsung apps, no TouchWiz based UI. So there's no Samsung S Note or S Calendar, etc. Right. So, this is what it should look like. This is running Nova Launcher, and I was running Apex. Uh, I did notice a few glitches in the top when I was running this. So I'm gonna try and show you if I can. On the top left-hand side, you'll see a couple of triangles appear. And it's, you see, there you go, top left, you can see some little glitches. It seems to sort of have some pixel residue, uh, which is why I switched over to Apex Launcher. Nova Launcher just seemed to have an issue with this ROM for some reason. Anyway, so that's that was that point I wanted to try and make. That's what I would recommend, putting Apex Launcher on top of the ROM's inbuilt Nova Launcher. Right, so now let's look at the difference between 4.2.1 and 4.2.2. Okay, so if we compare them side by side, there's a slight difference in the ringtone and sound option. You can see in 4.2.2 it's called different to what it was in 4.2.1. There's also a daydream option in 4.2.2. So what that does is it's essentially a screensaver. So if you click on display and daydream, you can choose what it wants to display. So let's try a color and test it. So it just Top, stops the screen from you know, displaying the same pixel over and over again which could lead into pixel bleed although the most you can leave your display on for is 10 minutes but yeah anyway so a clock could be a not good option when you plug your device in it could display the clock for you which could be quite handy I can't see myself using it but it's another option for you to use if you want to so, yeah, so you can have it to display the clock or while docked or while charging or either. Right, so I recommend this ROM if you are interested in a clean Jelly Bean ROM. There's no Samsung apps as I said, so I'll put the link in the description so get into it.